Hello and welcome to this Quest for XP video from Joy Pet and Me. Today we're going to be looking at Gun Game. Uh, Gun Game is one of the free for all versions that came into Black Ops and frankly Treyarch have decided to bring it back in Black Ops 2. It's basically just a random game where for every kill you get a new weapon and then obviously as you get a different weapon it always will rank up. You start off with pistols then move on to SMGs, automatic rifles, shotguns and you finish off with the crossbow and the ballistic knife. Um, the reason that I'd like this game is just because it gives you that rough random idea of weapons. You can find yourself being stuck on something like a sniper rifle because you haven't used it before. But it also gives you ideas about setups, about what type of guns you like and what times you don't. And also will give you an idea about the differences in actually setups, but the differences in class and the differences in, again, and the weapons that you can possibly have. So this gameplay comes from um, John um, who's one of our writers, uh, Darth Nutflinch on Twitter. Um, and as you can see, he's had not really that much trouble with the first few pistols. Unfortunately, the Executioner, which is kind of like the, which is a Magnum, basically with a laser sight, tends to be his problem. Now, one thing that I have noticed that he does, he doesn't aim in a lot of it. Um, some players who are a little bit idle, like myself, are very used to games where they didn't have zoom. Things like um, like Doom and things like that never used to have a zoom in a zooming mechanism so you're very used to hit firing unfortunately some of these weapons and execution is definitely one of them shows the fact that unless you scope in you're never ever going to get a kill so obviously the usuals will always apply aim high aim for the chest but please don't don't forget with this weapon just to just skype in because that scoping in really does make the difference with this weapon so as you can see we're on hijacked um, hijacked seems to be one of the most popular maps on black ops at the moment it just it's very quick um has those three lanes of traffic as we've been through before but also it has the underground part which does make it quite good so as you can see we've got that kill with execution there onto our shotguns now the shotguns in here are good um i love the 870 it's the first shotgun you get in the normal game but i do think that's probably my favorite but as you can see here it's one of those um situations where as soon as you hit that shot you're going to get another gun straight away so unfortunately sometimes what will happen is you'll be stuck with a death because you've shot someone you'll load up another weapon and before you've even loaded it you'll just die um it's a bit of a problem with the game but i think obviously that transition the, the animation where you're getting a new gun it's not really a problem and it does tend to make the game quite speedy and you do tend to find it is actually quite a leveling game because again people are getting stuck on certain weapons so using each weapon to its advantage is quite a good idea so when you have a weapon with a scope just use it um, you don't need to move all the time sometimes you can just stand back and take the shots it's especially true with the scope with the sniper rifles in this game just because you do find that yeah you know, just taking your time and moving slowly unless you are an amazingly great you know um, quick twitch player you know just sitting back and shooting can be quite handy the MMS scope which is the one that's on the screen at the moment I love it's just brilliant it just shows you so much movement it's great because you can also see through smoke as well so it's one that I think it's the last um, on the assault rifles and the submachine guns it's the last lock lock you can get but really is worth to play with because it really does give you an advantage when it comes to certain movements again sniper rifles quick one shot kills and doing quite well so as you can see John's actually a little bit campy at this moment but again he's got the higher the higher rate of weapons like the sniper rifle and the LMGs so that makes absolute sense at this point to not push it too much to stay still and let people come to him that way he can attack more and that way he won't be caught out I'm caught short with the weapons which should just have a large recoil and won't be able to move too much always as in, in Call of Duty as you can see a lovely little spawn kill um, again like free for all these spawn kills will just happen all the time so please 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 just remember to always once you spawn just lick around first before you start moving because you will find yourself either being picked off or you can find yourself an easy pick off as well again great headshots um, sniper rifles will do most damage to the chest as well but, it's not, but there's nothing wrong with trying to go for that head as well head and chest is generally a one shot kill so just always aiming for those sorts of areas this is where we come to the fun part to the rocket launchers the rocket launchers are crazy in this game you, the RPG and the small you can take out so many people with it but again on, on this just aiming low um, the reason is because of the splash damage if you hit if you aim for their chest and you miss you're going to miss completely and the rocket's going to go off into the sky but if you hit people in the chest away you go now this is my favorite weapon the whole game and that's the crossbow the crossbow is just one of those fun little toys that these sort of games have and i really do enjoy it um 
last of course last but not least as we get our final kill is just a ballistic knife ballistic knife is lots of fun a bit difficult but again it's quite good so as you can see john did really well here with a lovely win and that concludes our breakdown thank you